here is your AutoCAD test. Okay, I'm ready for this. Let me read the instructions. So using an AutoCAD test for intermediate position DWG, you have to demonstrate a clear understanding of paper space, also known as sheet space or layout. Okay, so I had to use these AutoCAD test drawings, so I'm gonna open it. Oh no, where is my toolbar? God damn it. I'll figure it out in the end. Okay, we have this elevation. And it says create a new viewport in depth point layer uh, to professionally scale and plot the drawing in paper space. Okay, so I'm gonna go here to paper space. Okay, it's empty. <sighs> right, so let me keep reading the instructions. Use the provided title block as a block. Uh, so let me let me see here. Okay, that's the title block. Let me open it. Okay. And then it says, uh, no need to update information when you have completed the task. Create a PDF of the drawing and save it under. All right. Okay, I think I know what to do. Okay, that's the drawing. Let me go here to paper space. And it says to create a new viewport. So that's the viewport already in there. Uh, in depth point layer. So let me see. I'm gonna open my properties palette to see if it has the correct layer. So that's layer zero. No, I'm gonna change to def point. Right there, def point. Okay, that's good. Um, so a scale and plot the drawing in paper space. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click here inside my viewport and I'm gonna double click on the mouse wheel again just to show the drawing right there. Nice. Um, so let me see something here. I'm gonna get out really quick. I'm gonna see what size is the title block. Okay, it's 24 by 36 sheet. Alright, so I'm going to copy this with control C and paste it into this drawing with control V and I'm going to place it at 0, 0, 0 origin point. Alright, so now I have the right size of this uh, drawing sheet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to Scale this uh, viewport like so, and then this other side also. I'm gonna scale it like so. Okay, so once I have that, I'm gonna get inside this uh, viewport by double clicking on it, and I'm gonna Peak says uh, create a new view for the instruction says uh, professionally scale uh, the drawing in paper space. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here and let me see if I pick uh, this scale 1 8. That looks too small, so I'm gonna pick the next one. That's a little too small. Let me go to 1 quarter. Okay, that looks much, much better. So that's great. I'm gonna double click here. <sighs> All right, the time is running. I need to pass this out to cut test. I need, I need to get this job. So create a viewport in the layer. So we scale the viewport uh, in paper space. We're using the title block. And it says to use it as a block. 
so let me see something here so if i select this that's a that's a block right now that's good the title block is a block uh no need to update information okay that's good thanks when you have completed the task or at the time limit create a pdf of the drawing and save it all right so the instructions say you have to follow the format blah 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 use plot style ata full all right so let me plot this by using control p shortcut let's see over here uh, i'm gonna pick they're asking to create a pdf okay so i'm gonna pick this dwg to pdf option the paper size uh, we know is 24 by 36 okay 24 by 36 right here uh plot, what to plot extend okay extend center the plot let me see here feed paper space no scale one to one yes because that's the uh, scale language yes plot style here we go they're saying to use ata full so let me pick this one and let me do a preview okay everything is looking good all right so i'm gonna right click and pick plot what else what is the path they're saying to save it under okay users irvin desktop the time is running or no um uh, okay they're saying to save it under fall 21 and with the format okay they're saying to use fall 't and I didn't need the toolbar I just remember that it's called ribbon and that uh, you can bring it back by using the ribbon command excuse me sir I'm done congratulations you passed the AutoCAD test welcome aboard now it's your turn to share this with your friends so we can all pass the next AutoCAD interview test and remember, and remember, I have another AutoCAD test over here, thanks to my Patreon supporters.